Mr. Amber, back while I'm in the studio today cutting transcriptions, I thought I'd send along two or three of these songs on to you that I mentioned to you in the letter. And this is one I was talking to Ernest Tubb about. And, uh, of course, I can't see anything wrong with the doggone things, but it's just these songs, you know, that Carl didn't want me to record. So I'd appreciate it if you can put them on a, a mimeographed or lithographed sheet out there and give me a little distribution on them. And I'll, I'll be looking around the country in all my travels to see if I can find another artist that will uh, record one of them. So I know I'm going to uh, get a good deal by signing up with Ernest Tubb Music, and I know that you folks are going to do all you can for an old struggling boy. Here's one of them. It's called My Ray of Sunshine. <laughs> You're my ray of sunshine, you're all that I crave, I love you darling, till I am in my grave, you've made my life complete here, and all because of you, you're my ray of sunshine, and I love no one but you. Girl, I know, dear, no one can take your place. Everywhere I go, dear, I see your smiling face. You've made my life so happy. It's all because of you. You're my ray of sunshine, and I love no one but you. My ray of sunshine. Now let me see. Don't go to the run off left on the words at home. And if I can remember the words to these other songs, I'm going to put them on there. But if I can't today, why, well, I'll send them to you from Roanoke, Virginia, sometime next week. Anyway, here's another one that I uh, wrote <laughs> and uh, dedicated it to my wife. And you know, this song has got out called, uh, I'm so lonesome I could cry. Well, I named this one, I'm so happy I could cry. And I hope you uh, will like it. I hope it makes with the approval. <laughs> I'm so happy I could cry And you know the reason why Though I've lived a life of sin You have been a faithful friend When I go to work each day I just can't keep my thoughts away from those sweet, simple things that you do. And when I come home at night, honey, you're my guiding light. I'll never love no Well, 
let's see. Now, that makes two. I don't know whether you like that or not. I couldn't get my darn time straight there at first, but, you know, we might get a hold of one of these officers or something that uh, could pep it up a little, might do something with it. At least these are ideas, and I hope that you'll put them on, like I say, on a memograph lead sheet of some kind. I certainly appreciate it. Incidentally, I'll be seeing Ernest in Nashville uh, this coming Saturday. A week from this coming Saturday night, I'll be on his midnight jam brief with him. I don't know what date that is. Here's one uh, my wife wrote to Mr. Aberbach. I hope you'll like it. I don't know. The high grill likes it almost enough to let me cut it. It's called If I Didn't Love You. If I didn't love you, if I didn't care, if I didn't need you, I wouldn't be there. I'd sail to an island far over the sea. If I didn't love you, that's where I would be. The trees are whispering and waters are blue, but I do love you, darling, so I'll just be with you. Well, Mr. Engineer, I think we've about run out on this record, hadn't we? Well, just cut this and off and we'll turn it over if I can think the other words. Mr. Aberback, here's a song that I wrote while I was one day, one Sunday, when I was driving from Atlanta to Belmont, North Carolina, just driving along by myself, and I, I remembered my childhood days, the little white church I used to go to, and so I thought of my title there, the little white church, and uh, I hope you'll like it well enough to uh, see that this one can get recorded, if, even if it is on some little label. It's called the little white church. <laughs> There's a little white church in the valley, and it means so much to me. It was there I found salvation, and Jesus set me free. No matter where I may wander, my thoughts will always stray to that little white church in the valley where I first learned to kneel and pray. The bells ring on Sunday morning, they always seem to say, come now while the door is open, don't wait another day. No matter where I may wander, my thoughts will always stray to that little white church in the valley where I first learned to kneel and Well, now, that was the little white church in the valley, and I think out of the whole bunch of them, I think that's the best, Mr. Aberback. Of course, that's just my opinion. You know, the public, there's still a certain amount of the public, especially down here in these southern states, that likes those religious songs. In fact, on all of my programs, I, it's a custom to add at least two or three hymns, because they really go for it in a big way down here, and I hope you'll try to do something with that one. <laughs> 